Hi Taurus, this is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 30th of May 2022. Right, I'm going to start immediately with Monday, the 30th of May. So Taurus, Monday for you, Justice. Tuesday, Eight of Swords. Wednesday, Nine of Cups. Thursday, Eight of Wands. The Sun, Friday. King of Cups, Saturday. Temperance, Sunday. The Wheel of Fortune, your influencing energy. Justice on Monday with Eight of Swords. Ten of Swords, Tuesday with a Two of Pentacles. Nine of Cups with Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, Thursday with Knight of Wands. The Sun, Friday with a Six of Cups. King of Cups with Five of Swords, Saturday. Temperance, Sunday with Two of Cups. Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Look, Three of Wands is new endeavor, something new you are on to. You are already there on the ground with something new, something perhaps you are doing for the first time in your life, okay? This Three of Wands often inexperienced but brave energy, okay? Going for something new, something different, saying something which you are sure about, expecting to see what is now out of it, okay? You are putting things for sale, your house, your product, something for sale out there. Could also mean something like that, expecting offers from now on. In that sense, beginning of that new endeavor. This is energy from last week. But the Wheel of Fortune says this will change your life. This also means um, your new career. Decision maybe to emigrate overseas, to start your life in a different place. And the Wheel of Fortune says change is there already. You made that change, okay? You were on to something else. Could also mean entirely different life for you. You have decided I'm going to have it differently from now on. Whatever it is, your career, life in general. You see what I'm saying? Place place of residence. It doesn't matter. You have decided earlier on and you've done all necessary things to begin with that another career or something else in your life. Change is already there. It happened already. From last week, we do have this energy. Change is there. Your different life, different career, different something is there. You are already waiting for the results, what effect that decision will have, okay, on your life. In that sense, change is they already look just this energy talks about consequence, which is just and fair, and it's supposed to happen eventually. Whether it we are talking court case, something you work towards, and the result supposed to come, consequence supposed to be. That is expected consequence. This is balanced energy, it's a just energy, it's fair energy, is what you deserve, that's what you worked for. In that sense, justice energy, very visible, okay, on Monday. But look, uh, with eight of swords within you, perhaps you were stuck till now, waiting for that decision. Some sort of decision came, and I kind of felt it's a long waiting decision. You were stuck in waiting for, working towards, uh, preparing for, expecting or something. You see what I'm saying? I really believe you were stuck in that sort of mode, expecting, working towards expectations and somehow things didn't happen perhaps as you expected. Everything kind of comes with the delays, comes later, but eventually comes. I really believe this justice energy will free you, okay, from this obstructive situation you used to have. Finally, decision is there. Finally, change is there. Feels like karmic one after another. The Wheel of Fortune and Justice talks about karmic change. Long-weighted change will free you from, I don't know, some expectations, some obstructions, something that 
kept you stuck in one place, okay? You couldn't move on, okay, until this decision, until this change, until something, something which happens here on Monday, okay? You couldn't move on. Now you can. Tuesday says just that, okay? Your troubles, your problems, your worries, you did have, obviously, okay? It's over, okay? It's over with that. Change is there already, but it's a very beginning. You see what I'm saying? You were juggling on this day, two of pentacles. In fact, on this day, you will feel both. You will feel pain of awaiting, being stuck, not having, wanting for things to change and expecting, but being stuck in this painful, obstructive situation on and on again. It's over, but you are still feeling this pain on this day because it's still fresh. You are feeling it. This Two of Pentacles talks about change of time, okay? That what was and that what is coming now. Something you worked towards is coming, it's there, but it's the very beginning. It didn't replace that old yet both of them both of them present on this day in your mind in your body kind of sitting on the threshold still feeling pain of that what was because that what is coming you didn't embrace it completely being that your mind is still in this painful worrisome situation you see what i'm saying in that sense i believe this two of pentacles here on tuesday for you taurus much better wednesday all right with nine of cups queen of pentacles queen of pentacles your energy taurus once you feel very confident rather caring energy very capable energy Energy. once you um, you know when you feel yourself capable to control the situation okay you've got everything in your hands now you know exactly how much you're supposed to pay for things you know exactly that you have enough money because you budgeted in advance you know exactly what is the cost of so and so things you know exactly what nearest future holds for you what you can buy with that what you have you see what I'm saying being just there where you wanted to be. This is what you wished for, for your business to thrive. This is also business mind for some of you who are beginning their own business, new career. This is very positive day. This is the day when you feel yourself, okay, now I am on my own territory. Now I am earning money. Now I can control my business. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, very positive. You wanted to be in control of your life your material life, your money making in that sense and you are because you do have your wish card what you wanted, you are getting on this day regarding to your money making, your business your stability in general Thursday with eight of wands and a knight of wands, very exciting day, okay, can be very busy, but you're not going to complain. On this day on Thursday with eight of wands, outer energy, it could be that you are um, wake up in the morning and while you are still having your morning coffee or, or breakfast or telephone is beginning to ring, you are making your to-do list and it's long list, telephone is ringing, emails are coming, you are sending emails, you are calling and from early morning till late in the evening you will accomplish a lot a lot you're gonna do this is preparation for something which is very important for you it's something which is necessary to, to do okay in order to create to make something out there and you will be very busy you will do it on this day now knight of wands says you will be very excited about this you'll do gladly, okay? You will fly all day long. Nothing will stop you. Whatever that you need to do, need to do, you'll do it with enthusiasm because you do have something which is your end goal, okay? And you are so excited about it. So whatever that comes on this day that you have to do, you will do it and immediately and happily and gladly because you do have end goal. You are creating something so exciting and you're not going to spare yourself. You will just add, oh, I can still do it. Doesn't matter, I'll happily do it. In that sense, you'll happily do everything because end goal, that what you want to create is so exciting, so great, you're so passionate about it. So you're not going to spare yourself 
Even though, okay, it's going to be a busy day, you might exhaust yourself. But even then, you're not going to feel it. Still, you're going to be satisfied. Very lovely energy, enthusiastic. And it seems to me it carries on here on Friday. Look at this enthusiasm and happiness. Comes very present here on, on Friday with the Sun card, Six of Cups. Look, with these two, we can talk children maybe for some of you. All right, Taurus. Because both of these cards are having that energy of child okay something which is very beginning something which is ever exciting something which is magical supposed to grow supposed to develop that kind of joy happiness you know about children about the beginning of this project about the beginning of something which will stay in your life in in a such an exciting happy way you see what i'm saying just extension of this thursday very lovely these two days for you taurus beautiful something okay which you are creating this it's just a confirmation of this excitement. You've been busy doing things, okay, on this day and here on Friday. You're just enjoying it. Oh, you're so happy on this day. So optimistic with something which you did put on the ground. From now on, it will grow. You've done everything right here on Thursday and here it will grow, it will develop, it will happen. Okay, lovely day. Um, for you Taurus, very optimistic, exciting, lovely, joyful day, both of these. Saturday with King of Cups and Five of Swords. Look, King of Cups, perhaps a Scorpio person, okay? Maybe Cancer or Pisces, what a sign here. Energy of emotional stability, um, very intelligent as well, a very calm energy, dealing well with conflicting, with turbulent situation, with the difficulties. Now, this is like a diplomat, like politician. This can be very much a boss in the big business. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, very calm, very steady energy of King of Cups. Now, it seems to me that this person and you will have some sort of conflict on this day, okay? You're not going to like this person because there is conflict competition between you and another one okay there is one thing that both of you want for yourself somebody will gain it somebody will lose it okay and you're not gonna like it kind of unhappy uh, on this day you and this person might could simply get on your nerves because this person can be passive aggressive can be very controlling you know this and this king of cups and you're not gonna like it of course um, anyway, Sunday much better, temperance and the Two of Cups. It seems to me you will be quite happy with yourself. Two of Cups within you is you being pleased with yourself. This is your harmony. This is your balance. Okay, Two of Cups, you satisfied with yourself, how you conducted yourself, how you reacted. You were patient, you were calm. Perhaps you won this something this situation went in your favor perhaps and on Sunday you will be very pleased with yourself how you conducted yourself what you said what you did how patient you were you didn't rush with your words with your deeds you were in control of the situation temperance is very patient very balanced energy and Sunday says you will be very pleased with yourself because of that because of your patience and balance, you didn't rush yourself up and you benefited with something in this unfavorable situation. You will be pleased with yourself end of the day. Anyway, Taurus, enjoy your week.